My name is Miriam. I'm from Art Project Bellflower and I'm going to show you guys how to make a fake slice of cake today. I made a little template of what an aerial view of a slice of cake would be and I'm going to um, trace it onto this sponge that we have. Nice fluffy sponge. Now I'm cutting the tracing of the cake slice that I made. You can use any scissors, but the stronger, the better. I'm using some kitchen scissors because those are the sharpest ones that I have. Try to make the tip pointy. Always clean your area. And I'm going to use the cutout that I already made to trace it on the other layer because we're going to make it a double layer cake. And now I'm going to cut the second layer. If they don't look even, put them next to each other and even it out with the scissors. Step one is cut the sponges as even as you can possibly get it. It doesn't have to be perfect. That looks pretty good. Step two is painting the cake. I'm going to make a pink cake. The actual cake part is going to be pink. You can make it any color that you want. You can make a chocolate cake. You can make a vanilla cake. Uh, you can make a funfetti cake, but I want to make it a strawberry cake. I'm going to be using some red acrylic paint onto some white acrylic paint to make a dark pink color. I'm going to mix it with a brush. Can add more red so it could be a little darker. It's about the color I want. And now I'm going to paint the sponge. I'm only going to paint the sides of the sponge because I'm going to be putting frosting on top and it'll, it'll cover everything. Now it's very porous, so you want to really dab in and make sure that you get all the little holes. Try to get the edge as well, a little bit, like this. Get a nice big dab of paint and just shove it in to the sponge. It's gonna absorb it anyway. Acrylic paints dry really fast. Once I do these two sides, I'm gonna start on the other one so when I grab it, it's not gonna get my hand dirty. Painting the back of it now. Painting the second sponge. Now, there's ombre cakes, and you could do that with your second sponge as well if you wanted to. You can add more red paint, make it darker. You can make it a different color. I just want a big old strawberry cake. It's good decoration for the house. You can give it as a gift. You could put a candle on it, give it as a gift. It's a handmade gift. So there's a lot of things you could do with it. I, I like it for decoration. It's really cute. It could be a paperweight. You can even mount it on a canvas. And it looks like a three-dimensional work of art. I'm gonna grab the second sponge and do the other side. Try to use a brush that's not very important to you because with all the stabbing, it's going, it's going to get messed up. If you have super stubborn little holes, just get a big glob of paint and just slab it on and dab it in gets all the little crevices. Now the other side of the last sponge. So this isn't necessary, but I, I am getting um, some cardboard or anything, it could be anything that you could put a slice of cake on so you can transfer it and whatnot. So let me finish painting this edge that I wasn't done with. 
This one's already pretty dry. Next step is filling it up with filling or this lightweight spackling. It's not for eating. None of this is for eating. Don't eat it. Don't try it. It's all just purely artistic. Don't eat it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tape the edges of the sponge so that we don't get any of the spackling on the sides that we already painted, just for protection. Now it's not gonna stick very well, just make it clean. It's gonna make it clean, as opposed to if you just put it on top. Now you're gonna get your frosting or your spackle here. And make sure it's lightweight so it's nice and fluffy like this. I'm gonna make the filling pink. So the way to do that is you just get a separate container, add some of the light spackling, and then I'm going to put a little bit of acrylic paint into it and mix it up. Make sure you cover it because it also dries pretty quickly. I do want it to be significantly darker than the color that I used for the size. So we're gonna try to achieve that. Looks delicious. Smells terrible. <laughs> Don't eat it. Okay, now that it's all mixed up, make sure it's really mixed up, really good. We're going to add it to the cake slice. Just wanna spread it on there. Make sure you get everything. Now, I'm gonna peel this off. I like how it didn't get it on the edges except for here. Now we're going to add the second slice on top. Should we squish it really good? You can use the same spatula to neatly. Now it's, it's doing what I didn't want it to do. It's getting on the sides. But it looks like a good filling right there. Now the back of the cake when you have a, a cake, a full cake, it's all frosted on the outside. Okay, so then we are going to add it to the back. Nothing, it doesn't have to be perfect because the more texture, the more imperfections, the more it's gonna look like a real cake. Now we're gonna frost the top. Frosting just on the top and the back because the sides are the inside of the cake. That's why I like these sponges because it looks very much like sponge cake. I love all that texture, it looks so good. Now I feel like it's missing a little frosting right here on the side, so I'm gonna add it. You know when you eat a cake and it's all goopy in the middle, you know it's gonna be a good slice of cake. Step four, three, step three. <laughs> We're going to decorate it now. So cool, so excited. Okay. All right, now I'm going to decorate it, uh, decorate the edge at the top and at the bottom, uh, but I do want to make a lighter pink than this. Since I already have some here, I'm only gonna add a little bit of the white spackling and mix it up, see what color that gives me. If I need to add more, I'll add more. If I need to make it lighter, I'll add more white. Okay, now I'm gonna mix this into this one, see what color that gives me. Remember, I just want a little more, a little bit of a lighter pink than the one that I used for the frosting of the cake. This is an all pink strawberry cake. Also, make sure that you use mixing bowls and utensils that you're not gonna use again. Don't use anything that you're gonna be using to eat from or uh, reusing, uh, make sure it's disposable or that you only use it for a crust. You don't want to contaminate any of the stuff that you use at home for eating with any of this stuff. I might want it a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna add more of the white. It's gonna give me more of a lighter shade. 
perfect. I love how that looks. Looks great. Now I'm going to put it in a piping bag. I'm using a reusable piping bag that I will not be reusing for cakes or anything. It'll just be strictly for classes. The easiest way to load one in is when you put it in either a cup or a vessel that you can use to help it help you keep it open. I know there's pros who can do it with like a hand and stuff, but I, I, I'm not that skilled just yet. <laughs> I'm gonna use a spatula to put it in as closest to the bottom as I can. Try to get as much of the spackling out of the bowl as you can. This will just push it down, I think. <laughs> now I have zero skill piping, so anyone can do this. I'm just gonna pipe at the edge because me thinking of how a cake looks, the full cake, there's usually just piping on the top and at the bottom. So if there's a slice of cake, there's only gonna be piping here and here. Now, everyone can do whatever they like, but this is just how I'm gonna do it, based on how a cake looks and is decorated and when you slice it. Now I'm gonna be doing the bottom part of it. That's why I talked about getting anything that you can um, get to put underneath, like a cardboard, so you don't get your table dirty or whatever surface you're using. Gosh, adorable. So I wanna add a little thing in the middle with the rest of this right here. Just like a dollop. Doesn't have to be perfect, just so I can add a slice of fruit on there. Just put it on top. <laughs> and I'm thinking of putting these fake fruits. Obviously you don't need any of these. And then I have these clay sprinkles. So they're not real sprinkles, they're clay. You can clearly see they they bend and stuff. Which is not a big deal. This is not like super sticky either. Like it doesn't stick to your finger if you notice. Your fake cake. Oh my god. How freaking cute is this? <gasps> Look at that. What do you want to name it? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake? I love it. Okay. That's its name. Strawberry shortcake then. Okay. Do you want to show your cake? She also made a cake. I want, I want to make something. What, what is the cake of this one? What is the name of this cake? <laughs> okay. You want to try it? What's your name? Yeah. Wednesday, Gabby will be so. And what are you doing here? I a craft. You're making a craft? Mm -hmm. You're making a, a, a baby cake to strawberry shortcake? Yeah, a baby cake to strawberry shortcake. Okay. How old are you? Five. Oh, awesome. It looks good. Yeah, it looks delicious. And we can display that at the house. I want to put stuff So we're far away from your siblings because they'll definitely eat it. Don't eat it. Don't, you'll die. Do Don't. not, you will die. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more crafts. You are. I'm going to pick my cake up. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs>